your Miss America 2011 is Miss Nebraska. Well, she's only 17 years old and now holds the title of Miss America. Teresa Scanlon is also the first winner ever from the Cornhusker state of Nebraska. And here she is on a Fox & Friends exclusive, her first television interview after being crowned Miss America 2011. Good morning to you, Teresa. Good morning. Nobody can describe what that feels like unless it's happened to you, right? <laughs> right. It's, it's incredible, absolutely uh, indescribable, really. So a lot's going to be made about the fact that you're only 17. Right. That you haven't spent one day in college. How are you going to respond? to that throughout the year? Well, that's kind of been the big issue. I was really excited to be on the 90th anniversary ed edition of Miss America, uh, presented by DSW, and even though I'm 17, I think that was pretty neat to show that even though Miss America is a timeless tradition that's been around for 90 years, it's also extremely young and relevant that even a 17-year-old can represent my generation. It's so interesting you bring up the word relevant, because what you'll find out throughout the year, as I did many years ago, is that people will ask you continuously why the Miss America America pageant is relevant in today's society. Why? Right. Because it focuses on idealism and that's something that I think America has moved away from. That we're so about being realistic that we feel that that's opposite of, of being idealistic. And I think it's so important that we still have those ideals. The American ideal of having a good example, a role model that other kids can look up to mm -hmm. that we really don't find anymore. It's really tough sometimes. One of the other ways you're being described is a conservative Christian. In fact, you blogged in a prayer just hours before the pageant where you said this give me the strength and wisdom to accurately handle your word of truth and the diligence and perseverance necessary to be a worker who is not ashamed you're not ashamed about talking about God are you no absolutely not I wouldn't be where I am today without my faith and so that's a huge part of who I am mm -hmm. so part of your winnings scholarship money that's what makes the Miss America pageant different And by the way she played the piano extremely well talent another thing that well, sets you. Miss America apart but some people are saying well you haven't even gone to one day of college but you'll have money to use what do you want to be oh I'm so looking forward to that that was a huge reason why my parents supported my involvement in pageantry artistry has been incredible in their sponsorship of these scholarships and so with my scholarships I will be attending Patrick Henry College and majoring in government and then going to law school so there's a lot of years of college ahead so every scholarship I can get is incredible and because of the scholarships that artistry provides I will be able to do that debt free which is something that is incredible I'm so looking forward to it and in fact one of the questions that you got from one of the judges during your all-important interview one of the judges Joy Behar yes who may not agree with you politically <laughs> she asked you whether or not you could vote for an atheist and you said I said absolutely I would definitely based who I vote for based on political policies, not on religion, because if that doesn't affect their political policies, it's not going to be something I look at. Mm -hmm. Throughout the year, Miss America now has a platform. So besides talking about the fact that you want to go into politics and that you want to be relevant and be a role model for young women, you're also going to be talking about eating disorders. Why? Um, that's an issue that's extremely close to me because I've, I've seen it in close friends. When I was 13, one of my best friends was bulimic. And, and through that, I started to learn more about it. I was so young, I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't have the information, so I really started researching at that point. That's when I found out that they're deadly. And that was huge to me to tell her that she needed to reach out and get help because it became so personal that you realize that your friend can die because of what is happening. And I think that's something a lot of people don't realize is that the mortality rates at about 20% mm -hmm. for eating disorders. And that's huge. We, we can't simply let it go by the wayside and not address an issue that is killing millions of children every day. It's something that has to be addressed. Well, Teresa Scanlon, the first day on the job, folks, at 17, I think they picked the right representative. Thank you so much. And welcome to the Miss America family. Thank you.